Hello everyone, and welcome to my review of the 10,000 volt Raijang light bow gun. This is one of two light bow guns in the game that's doing really well with the sticky ammo. So you have the Dire Gun Dementia, that's the Devil Joe light bow gun, and it has sticky ammo, rapid fire, level 2. And then you have this one, the 10,000 volt Raijang light bow gun, and it has sticky ammo level 3. Uh, there are some subtle differences between the two light bow guns. This one will get more damage with this wyvern blast. That's because it has a higher attack value for its like its raw damage, and this affects the wyvern blast. The other thing is, it's coming with paralysis ammo. Okay, whereas the devil Joe light bow gun is coming with sleep ammo level one, and slightly less damage on its wyvern blast. And I feel like the sticky ammo rapid fire comes out a little slower. There's a little more recoil. Okay, otherwise, they're very close to each other. So we'll be doing a video on the Devil Joe Light Bowgun as well. Now, I want to talk a little bit about my build here. You can see that I'm not wearing the Zora Magdaros armor set. So you're probably thinking to yourself, Oh, Game Economist, you don't have Artillery Secret. Why not? That's because you kind of have to decide between two very relevant skills for this bowgun. You can have true Razor Sharp Spare Shot, and this is going to give you even more ammo's in your reserve basically because the way it works is it gives you a free shot you know it doesn't expend any ammo from your ammo clip or from your reserves did that guy just bump into me and hey, what are you doing get out of here busybody anyways so true spare shot right is better than regular spare shot now your other option is to have regular spare shot and the artillery secret now the artillery secret is giving you more damage per shot okay so you kind of have to choose between one or the other you can either have more free ammo and reserves, or you can have a kind of more free ammo and reserves with regular spare shot plus the bonus damage. And after fiddling around with it for a while, I actually prefer true spare shot. And part of that is just because we're getting this Damascus chest into the build, right? So if you went with the Zora Magdaros, you would actually be using the Zora Magdaros chest piece. But here we are with the Damascus chest piece. And what do we have on the Damascus chest piece? Let's take a quick look. We jump right in. Here's the build. All right, so what you see is we have focus level three. That's coming from Damascus Mail Beta in the chest slot and the coil in the coil slot. That's giving you three levels of focus. We're combining that with special ammo boost. And this is because we're trying to up our damage output with the Wyvern Blast. And the main reason we're doing this uh, to, to go along with the other issue of having true spare shot, we're trying to have more reserves so that we don't have to go back to camp to refresh our ammo. I found that that was a real problem. So using maybe like some of the speed runner, I did a lot of research on this, right? There's quite a bit of research. I even have some builds recommended to me. I did a bunch of research and I experimented with a variety of builds. I feel like if you're playing by yourself, you can go with like kind of a speed runner build and you can have the Zora Magdaros and the, the, you can have evade reload. Uh, you can drop the free element ammo up if you want. Uh, you, there's ways, there's all kinds of ways to change this build that's what's so nice about it but you run out of ammo too fast and that's the real problem especially in multiplayer so if you go into multiplayer and you're doing really well and your teammates aren't what happens is you kind of compensate for them by burning through all of your ammo and then when you're out of ammo if the monster is still not dead or captured you're just frustrated because you got to go back to camp you know you got to go back to camp you got to grab your farcaster uh, and there's again there's ways to get around this there's ways to get around this for example, you know, here's a trick we could do. We could drop Stone Thrower Release, Satiated Release, and Fortitude Release so that we only carry two shots at a time. And then we can have, like, normal ammo, actually. You could have the normal shots decoration in there and Evade Reload. And what would happen is you'd use your Evade Reload to reload the gun. Uh, if you ran out of Sticky, you'd just jump over to normal shots. Or you could do that with Spread Shots as well. So there's all kinds of ways to kind of mess with the build but this is ultimately what i enjoyed the most you'll notice we do have earplugs five most of that's coming from the charm slot you can change the charm slot around and that's what i'm liking about this build so much okay because since we have true spare shot in the main build and is pairing with damascus mail like i said before our charm slot actually opens up and we can bring something like earplugs five but if you don't want the earplugs five you can jump it over to something like wide range okay so there's there's a lot of uh, flexibility in this particular setup because you're just because your charm slots open right and over here you can see we have a level of earplugs well if you drop that that could be anything you needed it to be so pick that back up all right so this is what we're bringing 
Let's go ahead and take a look at the customization for the bow gun. Okay, so we have recoil suppressor. You need this for the sticky ammo. And then the reload assist will only give you a slow reload. And slow reload, by the way, takes about a second longer than evade reload. But it's going to be reloading three shots of sticky ammo rather than two shots of sticky ammo. You're also never going to have a mistake. Like when you're using the evade reload, if you're accidentally pushing the button too much, you might do a normal reload rather than the actual evading reload. And if you do that, you're going to sit there going through a really slow reload animation because you don't have any reload assist on the build, right? Instead, you have evading reload on the build. So I just found myself a lot more comfortable with this in the end, with free element ammo up level three, giving me an extra shot in the clip, and then two levels of reload assist, just giving me the slow reload. I'll show you how it performs. It performs really well, in my opinion. Let's go ahead. I should have a, yeah. Okay, we have an item loadout for it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pick out a fight. What sh we could have, um, hmm, let's see. We could have a, an arena fight. Let's see, let's pick one from over here. Ebony Odegaren, he's great. He's got a tiny little body. He jumps around all over the place. He's actually a perfect candidate for something like this because he's just so dang active. All right, and you can see our attack. You can see we have negative 15% affinity, which we don't care about because we're using explosive ammo. Let's run over to the canteen and get Bombardier. You always eat Bombardier for more damage. All right, it doesn't look like we would end up getting it. Let's go ahead and use a voucher then. Gourmet voucher. Eat a meal. Custom platter. Let's see, we're, we're going to go for a regular attack. It's going to decide if we wanted to elemental defense, but I don't care. All right, and I'll see you guys in a second. And here we are. Let's get over there. So, you know, I could start with Rocksteady Mantle to ignore his roars, but we actually don't care about his roars, remember? We have earplugs. So we're going to start with the Temporal Mantle, which I like to start with anyways. I like to start with the Temporal Mantle in my fights. So we'll grab this stone, throw this on real fast. He's all alert. He's going to roar. Boop. Okay, he didn't get to roar anyways. All right, here's our Sticky 3. Pull this out real fast. We're going to set this down. Oh, whoops. <laughs> and make sure the shot actually lands. And yes, while it's while you're reloading, you're going to have to uh, craft more of the ammo. You can see, you don't really do much. Is One of the beauties to this build is just how simple it is. Go ahead and reload that. He's way over there, KO'd. Craft more ammo while we're back here. Come on over, buddy. Oh, did I not put on my temper mantle? Let's go ahead and put it on. Thought I did. Must have imagined it. <laughs> All right. He's gonna be a boof. He's gonna be a puppy. Oh no. Oh no, that's not good for you. He's so close. Why don't we test out our spread ammo? We got some spread ammo here? Nah. Sticky ammo it is. <laughs> Brr, shut up. Got a cat helping with the Meow Kano. Kano. I don't really care where I'm shooting. Like, you, if you can shoot him in the head, obviously that's going to be better because you're more likely going to be proccing that KO damage. But just be sure to hit him anywhere and don't stop shooting. Okay, because if you stop shooting, the damage that you're dealing really falls off. It's kind of like normal ammo, actually, where if you're constantly shooting, you're kind of going to keep up with the spread. But if you slow down, you dilly-dally. <laughs> you're not going to be dealing enough damage to justify using the sticky ammo. Let's see, we're just throwing it out there. Okay, let's go ahead with the Rocksteady Mantle. Don't do it. Nope, we don't care. I don't even have this augmented. Isn't that amazing? I could have this augmented for health regen if I wanted. Alright, go ahead and get that sticky ammo going. Gotta craft more of it, right? There we go. He's not feeling so good. <laughs> Oh, 
go ahead and set this down. We don't want to accidentally set off the ammo, so we stand next to it, not over it, as we move backwards. Don't do it! Oh, he didn't like the Wyvern Blast, did he? Oh, we're bleeding. That's not good. Do we have anti-bleed? No. So we will just do the squat. <laughs> Dude. All right, we're good. Oh, I didn't mean to dive evade. Ooh. So there's a pod. I saw a pod. And we are almost out of ammo. Okay, so once again, that seems to be the key problem. You ran out of ammo too easily. Come on, buddy. Woo! Yeah, you've seen it here. You run out of ammo very quickly. Let's go ahead and have a Mega Potion. Since we're running low, why don't we shoot him in the head with this? Well, that didn't seem to help too much. <laughs> we got our paralysis ammo that we could use. Hold on, let's, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and reload our sticky ammo. So we take full advantage of this. All right, and let's fire this. Nice. Let's get this sticky ammo on his head. And we'll be paralyzing him for the whole team, right? That's nice. Well, he didn't stay paralyzed too long, did he? Just back up off of that. <laughs> Woo! He's tired. I'm gonna take off this mantle real fast. Is he capturable? I'm scared to try. Let's try. I knew it was too good to be true. Well, we're gonna have to kill him now because I don't have a spare trap. <laughs> Woo, that spare shot, man. True spare shot is really nice. I'm a big fan of it. All right, we're nearly out. Maybe true spare shot will smile kindly on us. He is exhausted. We're going to go ahead and claw him, because we need all the extra damage we can get. So there's a 200. Oh, it's a 168. He's capturable now, isn't that? That's the sad part. Now he's capturable. If I do this, will you go after my cat? Nah, he didn't go after my cat. That would have been too easy. The Dragonator! Oh my god, we're running over to the Dragonator, folks. <laughs> Where's my Dragonator? Come on over, buddy. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> that is one very long Dragonator. Good. Good deal. <laughs> I, I, I thought he was going to stand still, and we were going to completely miss. So there you have it. You could see that we finished the fight fairly quickly. If we had not tried to capture it too early, we would have already captured him. Uh, we did not necessarily need the Dragonator. We just tried to capture it at the wrong time. But look at this, we're just about out of Sticky Ammo 3. We really were just there, you know? Just on the edge of running out. And there's not much other ways to bring more damage into the build. I mean, we could slightly raise the damage we're dealing with, well, Artillery 5 and maybe a little Attack Boost or Agitator or Peak Performance. We could raise our damage a bit, but I, don't, I think you would still run out of ammo is the problem. You'd still run out of ammo. So this is why I'm enjoying having the focus and the special ammo boost. And this is especially true for multiplayer. For somebody doing speedrunning, they're gonna find out exactly how many shots they can get away with for killing the monster, right? Like how little they can get away with. But if you're just playing multiplayer, you're probably going to want to have those bonus shots from the Wyvern Blast. It won't be even, to be honest, it won't be like even a great deal extra from focus and special ammo boost. You're not gonna be like, blowing your mind with how much extra damage you get, but it'll be a little bit. Okay, so that fight was almost too easy. Why don't we go ahead and join some strangers and we'll help them out with our build. Let's see how they like it. <laughs> Here's an acidic lavinous. Let's see if we can get in before it fills up. I think we're in. Heck yeah, perfect. 
We're going to refresh our item loadout. As you can see, I have it saved right over there. Now, when you do run out of ammo, we do have normal ammo three and we do have pierce, uh, not pierce, spread ammo three. So you could use those to, to kind of help yourself out, right? Like to kind of get yourself to the end because I don't recommend just trying to use the claw attack over and over again. It's too risky. All right, we're going for it. We, we have a small chance for this to activate. That's not a small chance. We have a fair chance. Ah, darn. No feline bombardier for us. That's too bad. I'll see you guys in a moment. And we're here. Let's go find Acidic Glavinus. I actually like the Acidic Glavinus fight a lot. Let's see where everyone's at. Oh, where is everyone at? There's one. Oh, here they are. Okay. There's multiple people. Are they up top or down below? I'm going to guess down below. I think I think Acidic Glavinus likes to hang out down below. You can see everyone has the defense down a problem. Let's see. The defense down status. Uh, it's telling us to go up here. Let's go ahead and climb up here. There's a Mandragora up here. Let's go ahead and grab that. Here it is. We love Mandragora. Hey, here's this sneaky guy. What are you doing here, sneaky guy? What do you give me? Ancient potion? <laughs> pitfall trap? That's cheating. You can't have a pitfall trap. Alright, so let's go ahead and put on our temporal mantle. And here he is. We're going to start shooting him near the head if we can. Near the head's going to help us out. Now you notice we totally ignore that roar because we have the earplugs. But keep in mind we could have brought wide range 5 as well and been a bit of a team healer if we wanted to. Which is what I did in the base game with the sticky ammo builds. Do you remember that? I don't know if you guys were all watching my channel back then. Some of you were. <laughs> Acidic Glavinus. Oh, the spin. That's right. Regular Glavinus would have done its second chop, but Acidic Glavinus does the spin. He is confusing me. I don't know where he is. His body's all over the place. Let's go ahead and get a Paralyze on him. Alright, we're going to go set one of these down. That's going to be KO. Get one of these down as well. This ensures that we get the damage from the Wyvern Blast. Oops. Isn't that pity when you shoot right next to them? I think their body is so large that you could never miss, but it's not like that at all, is it? No matter what, we don't want to miss these shots. It's important they all land. I'm just going to aim toward the center of his body where he never really moves too much. Part's broken. Was that us? Let's go ahead and grab our rock steady. Oh, no. Oh, we're hurt. All right, we're going to go ahead and heal first, actually. All right, we're good. Did he just put a pool down? Oh, man. He's really trying to take us down. Get an explosion down next to him. Oh, parse broken. Oh, we're gonna go ahead and craft more ammo while we're reloading. Again, it's more important that we land every shot than it is to actually get headshots. I'm okay with missing some headshots. I just need to land every shot because every bit of damage counts here. We don't want to run out of damage. We're actually missing a little bit of damage because we didn't get that feline bombardier. Oh, and he's knocked over. Looks like he's not even knocked, out, knocked over from KO. He's knocked over from damage, which is good because we're going to give the team a KO in a minute, probably. Told ya. I told ya. I told you. Shoot him in the leg. I don't want to shoot this Anjanath. Uh, but the Anjanath wants to be shot. Okay. He's in the way. Oh, he's ready to go. Come on, give me a ride. Catch a ride. Let's jump to the face. 
Can we stop him? Nope. Yes, I lied. Yes, we can. And he has stopped. There is the trap. Very good. Oh, no, is he getting away without being trapped? Oh, perfect. We're going to help to make sure he actually gets captured. Nice job. All right, really not too bad, was it? We gave the team a paralysis and a KO attack or two while keeping our damage up because we were never stopping. We were firing the whole time. We weren't getting interrupted by the annoying, uh, uh, annoying roars. You, you know, I've noticed in Iceborne, there's far more roaring fights than before. And this is because you're constantly running into group fights in Iceborne. It seems like it's worse in Iceborne than it was in the base game. So having earplugs now is so cheap with the charm slot and it's so convenient as well. I don't know if it's, you know, quite the meta, but it's, it's very, very convenient. You can actually afford it on this build if you're not going to take wide range. And we're back at it. Here we are in Celiana again. I thought I'd go ahead and show off one of the best builds to be having sticky ammo in is the fight against Kieran. Kieran is really annoying. And if you bring sticky ammo against Kieran, he's not so bad. Kieran cannot stand up against sticky ammo. We might have to, do we have any? All right, we might have to go get some Kieran. Oh, actually, we probably have an optional quest. Let's check the optionals. We're coming for you, Kieran. Uh, Divine Surge is two monsters. Do we have one? Here we go. Lightning crashes. We'll take this one. Now, Kieran doesn't roar, actually, so we don't need the earplugs charm. What we'll bring instead is some resistance to thunder, probably. So I say we go, first of all, I did this before, and I thought it worked really well. We're going to run over here. It's going to be in here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Tool specialist level three. We'll go ahead and pick that up. This is going to give our... Mantle's back sooner. We'll give up Rocksteady Mantle for the Thunderproof Mantle. Okay, so with Maintenance Charm on, Thunderproof Mantle and Temporal Mantle, we'll constantly have our mantles available. This is actually really nice for this particular fight. And then let's go ahead and take a look at, so we can actually drop this earplug decoration. And I'd say our biggest risk is, hmm. I wanna say that is actually paralysis, believe it or not. I feel like that's what I've died to the most when fighting Kieran. So we're going to do anti-paralysis. Let's see, do we have an anti-paralysis? Anti-paralysis. Alternatively, oh no, we already have fortitude. Yeah, so we'll stick with anti-paralysis. He can't paralyze us. He can actually, it just won't last as long. <laughs> Once again, we're going to go try to eat for Bombardier. All right, jump over here. Custom platter. Really doesn't look like we're going to get Bombardier. You know what that means? I'm just going to have a chef's choice platter. That's right. I am cheap. I don't like to waste my vouchers, and I don't like to waste my max potions. I'll see you guys in a moment. Here we are landing right next to Kieran. Perfect. I actually really like that. Where is he exactly? He's right in front of me, isn't he? Yeah, he's right there. So we're going to start by putting on Temporal Mantle. Go ahead and put this down. Start firing. <laughs> on you. There it goes. KO'd right away. He KO's so easy. We're gonna shoot him right in the butt too. Three, four, five, six. That was six shots because a true spare shot it procs quite a lot. That's 600 damage. So he has a small body and the problem is he gains an aura that makes him immune to shot damage when he's enraged. And this is why we like to use sticky ammo rather than shot type ammo. You certainly can use shot type ammo. In fact, I'm confident that normal ammo is probably going to have a faster run on him. It's questionable because, once again, the whole deal with softening monsters parts has changed everything a little bit. Where are we? Not KO'd, huh? Wow, that was funny. Look at that. <laughs> we meleeed him with the aerial attack, and that was all he needed to be exhausted. Let's get this down. Making the best use uh, possible with the Wyvern Blast, because we're using it while he's knocked down. So that's about as good as it gets. Oh, there we go, with our Temporal Mantles helping us out. Giving us a hand there. Oh, 
Wise. All right, let's go ahead with the thunderproof. Plant this real fast. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, that's okay. We're still alive. Now this would be a nice time to have health regen, health regen as an augment on this light bow gun because what would happen is while we're dealing damage to him, we would regain our health. So that would be real convenient to have right now. But we do not have this. Let's go ahead and finish healing. Woo! Careful there, kitty. My cat's gonna get wrecked. Oh, I actually still was in the range of that, huh? I gotta be careful now because I would say I'm very close to KO at this point. Come on, Kieran. So Kieran's enraged. Let's go ahead and reload. Kieran is gonna be crazy. Set this down. One thing we can do. Set the Oh, he got knocked down. I did not expect that. It's gonna show you that we can set up some mega barrel bombs too, and he'll run into them. Come on, KO. There we go. We love it when you KO, Kieran. You're the KO King. Five. Five shots. Uh-uh-uh. Look how much KO sticky ammo we get out on him when he is recovering from an actual KO. Alright, let's go ahead and get this down. Ah, see? Throw that barrel into him? He didn't like that, did he? He did not like that. Oh! He is slicing us up. Are we KO'd? No, we're still good. We're still good. See, he's running around all wild. It's kind of annoying. I set up this mega barrel bomb. We'll put this next to it. Woo! And he is knocked down once again. He can't handle all that damage. <laughs> There's our... What is that, like our fourth KO? Tons of KO. Oops, I think we're overshooting it there slightly. He should be limping now. Is he gonna limp? No, he's not limping. No, he's still got plenty of energy. Look at him, he's gotta kill us, man. So you can see, once again, we're almost done with our Thunder, thunder Mantle, but the Temporal Mantle is going to be available very soon making us very nervous here. Trying to chill out by my cat. Oh, he actually looks very energetic. Well, I thought he'd be close to death by now. What the heck was that? I didn't actually let go of the beetle. It just made me let go. Weird. We'll go ahead and craft some more Mega Barrel Bombs. That's actually in the item loadout is the ability to craft more Mega Barrel Bombs if we want. Go ahead and set this down real fast. You'll see us. I missed really badly. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, snap. He didn't like that. <laughs> There's another KO. It's about as much as we could ask for. So we are nearly out of our reserves, finally. And there's no capturing Kieran. He's an Elder Dragon. Could probably get a mount on him, I imagine. Oh yeah, there we are. We're out. We're out of ammo. Throw him into this wall here. He's like, ouch. <laughs> that another KO? Jeez, wheeze, man. That is some crazy KO in right there. There we go. The horn's broken now. If he's not walking back by now. Come on. 
Try and get a little extra damage in while we can. Oh, nope. Not gonna do that. <laughs> so we actually have to go back for more ammo. We just don't have enough to kill him. If he was a different monster, we could capture him, but he's an Elder Dragon. And this is going to be one of the biggest holdbacks for this sort of build. It's the biggest holdback. He's still very good against Kirin, but if you're talking about speed, if you're talking about getting this done quickly, you don't want to have to go back to your camp to pick up more ammo. If you're really clever, you can kind of know where all of the sticky ammo is on a map and try to grab some fresh you know, blast nuts in order to craft more sticky ammo. But I actually know there's nothing, none that I can really grab in this area. So the best I can do is just go back to camp, grab some fresh ammo, and then we're going to have to catch up to him. It's okay. He kind of climbs really slow, so we're not missing out on too much. We wouldn't have been going nuts on him anyways. I don't know. Maybe we would have. <laughs> we just had lots of ammo. Ammo reserve is a big deal in Iceborne, I notice. It's not just a problem for this sticky ammo. It's a problem in general. Yeah, cluster bombs, wyvern ammo. I think that the spread shot, pure shot, normal shot are still fine. So all the explosive damage ammo types, they're really limited. Is he walking to his nest? I can't tell. I think he was walking to his nest. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and blow him up. <laughs> One... And so, one of the things you notice, of course, I don't have sleep ammo. One of the things we could have done is given our Palico a sleep ammo weapon. That would allow us to kind of get around that. Not fully. Go ahead and shoot the ground here, I think. Three, four, five. Oh, man. So much damage. Two, three. Alright, let's get our temporal on. Because with my luck, I'll get killed right here. There we are. Temporal's on. Whoa, he is knocked down again. Our, our cat's doing our... Look at that. He's doing the Lord's work over here. Good job, kitty. Let's go ahead and carve him up. Not too bad. Did it really ever look like there was a point in the fight where I was struggling? And the answer is no. There wasn't really any point in the fight where I didn't feel like I was having any trouble with this fight at all. Which probably, is sh if it's not impressing you, it should. Because Kieran can be a nightmare. Kieran does a lot of damage. He moves a lot. He runs around a lot, which is annoying. It's got hard to hit. You know, you, you want to hit him on the head. You don't want to hit him on the tummy. Yeah, it's hard to hit him there. Yeah. And, and we're just kind of chilling back with our sticky ammo. We don't care where we shoot him. We get lots of good damage on him. Fair damage, I suppose, is a better description. I mean, let's take a look at... That was nine minutes. So the, the damage wasn't the most exciting part here, but it was the convenience and all the knockdowns. So if you think of this being used on a team of uh, four people, how many knockdowns did I have? Like five, maybe? That's really nice for the whole team. It's really nice for the whole team. And I'll be showing off the Dire Gun Dimension, the Devil Joe Light Bow Gun, is going to be useful as well against Kieran. But it's going to be coming with sleep ammo, which is even better for multiplayer because you don't get to bring your palico into multiplayer. So having the sleep ammo is valuable as well. Paralysis ammo obviously does not work on Kirin. All right. Well, I think that's enough examples of how this light bow gun is performing. I do know you can build the light bow gun with artillery secret. I know you can build it with evade reload. This was the build that I was most impressed by. I enjoyed it the most. You have a charm that you can move around however you want it to be moved, right? In this case, we had maintenance charm for fighting Kirin. You're holding three shots and using true spare shot together. So the reality is, you you know, if, you've, if you're getting good luck, you're having these long uh, chains of shooting the, the sticky ammo without having to reload, right? Sometimes it can go up to like seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, but it's not uncommon to get like five shots in a row, which is really nice. And this is how you're comparing it to Evade Reload. Obviously, not all shots will be five shots in a row. Some of them will only be three shots in a row, and then you have to reload. But again, some of them will be like nine shots in a row, and then you reload. So it kind of evens out to, I want to say about five, five to six at least. So you're getting about five shots per reload 
It is the slow reload, but it's what I prefer. It's what I prefer. And the biggest issue with the build is having enough ammo to last throughout the whole fight. You could see it was working in multiplayer. You could see it was working on an individual monster where we could capture the monster. But against Kieran, we ran out. We actually ran out, and that's a big problem. And this is why we have focus and we have special ammo boost in order to use our Wyvern Blast more. You could also consider maybe trying to get Bombardier in so that you could use Mega Barrel Bombs more, and these will do bonus damage with Bombardier because that's what Bombardier does. And you always want to eat for Feline Bombardier because extra damage is going to go, uh, it's going to help the build get, you know, whittle down the monster's health bar before you run out of ammo. All right. Okay, let me know what you think of the build. Let me know if it was helpful. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.